Welcome to the College Sports Radio Show. I'm Bryce Holland with Chase Rodenhaver and Andy Harrington. And today we're going to be talking about the transfer portal and the college football playoff bracket. So, Chase, what are your thoughts on the transfer portal and how it's evolved in Canada? I do not really personally like the transfer portal because players could play for four different teams in four years and you really can't just stay loyal to your your um, team, you know, that you're starting off. Like, Cam Newton stayed with Auburn his whole life. You know, Johnny Menzel, you know, stayed with his team all t- his whole career. Andy, what do you think? I mean, I agree with Chase. Uh, I, I don't like that players are transferring every year, but I do think you shouldn't penalize them because, I mean, it is their opinion, and they should be able to transfer to whatever school they want to go to. So that is my opinion. Yeah, I think transfers should be limited to one as well. All right, we have a question. Yes. What are you thinking of the transfer portal starting during COVID in 2020 and now going on throughout the rest of the – going on now, too? Yeah, well, I think it's 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 gotten pr- pretty bad. I think it kind of started as a, as a COVID thing, but now it's – players are going in and out. It's almost like college free agency. Yes, and what do you think also about um, – remember the rule that used to be when players transfer to another school, they have to sit for one year? What do you think about them being able to be able to play in the transfer? Yeah, I kind of wish they could have done that because I just don't like transferring over and over. And you can't really stay committed, you know. I have to say, just you got to stay loyal. Um, I think I think they shouldn't be penalized for the whole year, but uh, I mean, maybe like miss the first game, but that, yeah, I don't think it should be the whole year. Question, question. All right, yes, Aiden. Uh, I was uh, going to ask you all about the fact that with the bracket changing from 4 to 12, my dad and I talked about this. There are some players who don't have scholarships that are playing or are, like, paying for their own tuition to, like, play at these colleges. And uh, they don't want to pay for, like, this many games because they could get injured and stuff like that. So, like, I was wondering, do you all think it's fair for the players to play this many games in this good college to, like, you know, have a chance to play more in the playoffs? Um, I, I I love it. I think it gives more teams opportunity to play and players that show that they um, can play in the NFL. And I think that they should keep it as 12. I like it a lot better than four. So. Yeah. Do you think they should keep the buys for some teams or have all teams play the same week? Yeah, I, I think that's interesting. I, I think I, I like the buys, but I think they could even switch it up and have – all college teams play to make it kind of different from the NFL, but either way, I, I think it would be just good to extend the playoffs. 12-team uh, yeah. playoff, you mean? Yeah, 12-team playoff, yeah. yeah. Or do you think it should be eight? 12. I, I oh. believe it should be 12. I think that's the best. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you guys. I think it's 12 because 12 just brings more opportunity for players that can shine and show that they can play ball, I guess. Also, it shows that, you know, I forgot the name of the team, but the – Quarterback Jordan Travis, I can't really fully remember the name. That could help teams like that, you know, get into the playoffs instead of getting kicked out for just four spots, you know, because there could be teams who are really good but just can't compete with Alabama or, you know, um, Texas or Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? Those are the guys. All right, so well, that will do it for the College Sports Radio Show. Once again, I'm Bryce Holland with Chase Rodenhaber and Andy Arrington. Signing off. We'll see you all next time.